Hey guys, in this episode, uh, yeah, it's another interview with Raj. Since he's uh, an AI engineer, AI expert uh, with many years of experience, mm -hmm. I thought it would be a good topic to talk about the future of AI uh -huh. and like how it will impact work environment, like uh -huh. for tech people, for example. Um, yeah, so maybe you can share some of your points of your view. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, like uh, it's, uh, it's coming really fast. AI is taking over real quick, actually. Uh, it's faster than most people imagine. It's disrupting like every sector at this point, you know. <laughs> Almost no sector is free, uh, including content creation, YouTube. You create ideas for videos, create clickbait titles, so on and so forth. And also, Karnakan nowadays, yeah, is doing like the image generation, all those things as well. And uh, it's, uh, there are some mm -hmm. uh, some situations where they can make videos, which is starting to come. Sooner it could be open source as well. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's it's disrupting a lot of places. And one thing, uh, what I am, I would say is like a lot of white color jobs could be mm -hmm. placed. There was like one article talking about like thousands of white color jobs could be replaced okay. completely by AI. So that's like a really scary thing, right? Mm -hmm. Only so, the blue collar factory working labor mm -hmm. jobs are available. I mean, at some point that will also be automated mm -hmm. with robotics and yeah. embedded systems. But yeah, so yeah, a lot of jobs. In the next mm -hmm. five years, I think the world will be so strange, mm -hmm. I think. I think so far for now, especially the tech market will change because I'm, I mean, uh, yeah, the robots and all also for like factory and stuff, yes, but um, yeah, but not all the countries will have money to suddenly automate everything. So like in case of tech yeah. jobs, I think it will impact a lot, like yeah, uh, exactly. changing the job titles. I mean, uh, yeah. That's, yeah, the... I mean, most jobs will become like prompt engineering jobs, basically. Mm -hmm. So instead of you don't have to do anything interesting, just tell the AI what to do. <laughs> you know, that's how funny it is going to become. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. And how do you think the UI UX, she's a UI UX designer, yeah. I guess you guys will know better, but mm -hmm. yeah. So how do you think it's impacting, mm -hmm. yeah, it's impacting in your field? Yes, so in our case, I also say it for graphic designers as well, because yeah, I mean, I also have a background in graphic design. Uh, it uh, helps in terms of image generation, like you can use ChatGPT or uh, Gemini, yeah, or Gemini a Copilot for generating images, so that you can use without being afraid of copyrights. Because so far, we as designers, we had to think that oh, we need to pay for uh, some good quality image, or we need to uh, use the websites like free pick or pexels and to use like free content to not be afraid of future consequences and now the job is done <coughs> a bit more easier thanks to yeah like yeah, using uh, ai yeah. images i was using mid journey for a while and i really enjoyed using it so it's also another solution to have better results, I mean, than from uh, free resources, like from free version of Copilot, for example, I mean. Yeah. Yes, so I think this is like one of the examples of how it, it impacts that. It, yeah. uh, it, it improves our, our works, uh, work, our designers, but we are also a bit afraid of, yeah, like, uh, like whether it will be needed in future. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also, like this week, Google released AI in Gmail as well. Mm. Nowadays, it can summarize all the work for you. It can oh, tell nice. you all the meetings, all the work stuff that you have. It's all for free. It's mm -hmm. integrated, actually. Mm. Maybe you should check your Gmail again. Oh, okay. I didn't notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. I see. Nice. So, and one more thing is like many people ask me is like, should we study AI, mm -hmm. uh, everybody is studying or like that's the current hottest thing or at least for the next 10, 20 years, mm -hmm. that's what, that's true. But the question is, um, should you study AI is like, uh, is something that I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm myself an AI engineer currently mm -hmm. studying medicine. Mm -hmm. I personally will say do not study AI because almost everyone wants to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. you, the counterintuitive point here is 
yeah i can program also obviously mm-hmm. and it can evolve on its own to some extent you it doesn't require a lot of ai engineers you know mm-hmm. mm, yeah it doesn't need more more and more data mm-hmm. scientists or machine learning I or see. deep learning engineers that's something nobody understands mm-hmm. now everyone wants to study data science machine learning yeah i'm like no you should not yeah he's going to take care of that task as well so okay yeah that's something i really want mm-hmm. to tell your audience you know just sure. do, just try to avoid <laughs> the thing is what will happen you know if everyone is studying ai what will happen mm-hmm. the demand will be superseded with supply and mm-hmm. then the pay will be so low you know mm-hmm. like even though you are a you are yeah, sorry yeah engineer like you will make so low pay mm-hmm. and even if you are not interested if you think you are exploited in your current job there will mm-hmm. be 100 other 1000 other people willing to do the same job sure. because everyone is ai engineer right? mm-hmm. that's right. something you guys should think about <laughs> do something that is not traditionally conventionally mm-hmm. done so look out for uh, new interesting jobs mm-hmm. you know sure yeah okay uh, and thank you so much for explaining your point of view on the ai and tech market mm-hmm. and also yeah that i also added some parts from my side mm-hmm. uh, Yeah. Uh thanks guys for watching. If you want you can also see uh, another video to find out more about Raj like why he came to Europe or why he came to Poland. Uh don't forget to hit a like and subscribe our channel if you like our content so far and see you in the next video. Bye. Peace.